This is Todd Bender with Mid-Hudson News. Legislation that came about following the horrific murder of the 29-year-old mother, Melanie Chinesi, was signed into law by Governor Kathy Hochul at a ceremony in Poughkeepsie on November 25th, one day after what would have been Melanie's 32nd birthday. Melanie was killed by her mother's ex-boyfriend, Paul Senecal, who was eventually convicted of murdering her and sentenced to life in prison. Melanie's law expands the jurisdiction of the family courts so that order of protection can include the relatives of domestic violence victims, like Melanie, allowing them to be granted their own orders of protection. Here's highlights of the bill signing. Your courage and determination to turn tragedy into change will save thousands of of lives and we are but some there's sometimes there's special people like Cheryl who go so deep within herself to find the strength to use her voice on behalf of her daughter to make sure that no other family has to endure what her family did because the system was failing them At the time she couldn't protect her own daughter Melanie the courts were not equipped to protect her because the law did not allow it when the abuser couldn't get to her, he took it out on the most beloved person in her life. Go after Melanie, and that's exactly what he did. Cheryl, as we've heard here today, you have been a driving force that has not only brought hope for families in crisis, but has provided people with a stronger voice for their fight for safety through Melanie's Law. To know someone lost their life because of a loophole in the law, I knew it was so important to take action to ensure that that didn't happen to another family. Yesterday was Melanie's birthday. She was going to be 32. Um, so I can't think of a better way of honoring her as to signing this law today. Thank you, Governor. Now, today we take a big step forward for helping survivors of domestic violence. Melanie's law will save lives and her legacy will live forever in our hearts.